hear you because I want to get this Snoopy love. This mad sunshine out here, mad nice. You know what I mean? I'm over here by the stadium, about by Jackson. I was, yo, you can't really see me. I was over there hauling that beats and I see that junk up there still talking the track. I know I shouldn't be this petty, petty wop. Well, I shouldn't say petty wop when I'm talking about um, King Troll, but you know what I'm saying? That, that little kid that claims he's from Boston. For anybody that really know me, know that this is like ridiculous. I'm like the real soldier from Beantown that's really up here. Like that 1090 Jake, that kid, he's not from Boston. Who else be claiming Boston? I'm like the real Boston representative up here. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it's really just not necessarily like worth it for me to be talking about. You know what I'm saying? A nigga fresh out of rehab, which ain't nothing really wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to get yourself right. I know all about that. You know what I'm saying? And I got people just on that. But it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. But you know what I'm saying? Speaking of the neighborhood, I like that. You know, I always show y'all that mural. Especially, it's all, that's why I said it's always better when I be by this mural when it's nice outside. I mean, when it's not, when it's dark. Because it stands out better at night. But, um, yeah. I just always just say that because, like I said, being a representative of 617, when a lot of other people don't even be be hollering, you know what I'm saying, about Boston, like, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, seeing a brother being from here. But for this chump to be on King Troll's channel, or not just King Troll's channel, because he said it on mine, and that other clown to be on um, Dude's channel, talking about some claim in Massachusetts but like the first one they're like Gatto, the Gotti they're like a lot of these dudes know from Beantown and repping Bean so don't tell me about no trying to claim no goddamn Massachusetts when I'm the only real Boston nigga to be holding it down with a platform up here and be rapping you know what I'm saying on the major joint like with the Gotti's in the New York um, market or across the YouTube sectors, you know what I'm saying? Just from the bean, and for some little punk chumps that don't even show their face. That's why I don't even know I'm even giving it any type of burn. Because neither one of the chumps that said what I'm talking about even show their face. And you know how we do them, nigga. No face, no case. You know what I'm saying? But for me to be like where I'm at with people who stay out here for real and know that I'm over by, by the bricks. I'm over here in Heath Street Projects where well, niggas who stay here don't even be coming on my side of town for some clowns to sit up there and tell me some old claim in Massachusetts but you're not in Boston. <laughs> like, I've been in Boston majority of my whole life. And when I wasn't in Boston, I stayed in some nasty places in VA. I stayed in Tidewater in Tidewater in Virginia, I stayed in Tidewater area. The people from out there know what's that's about. Meaning the Norfolks, and you know what I'm saying, the Norfolks, the Portsmouths, you know what I'm saying, Chesapeake, Holly Cole. So, it ain't nothing, and that stuff don't mean nothing either, but I only address the Boston thing because the simple fact that you know you really gotta be from here to even be bringing it up for one but then for a clown that doesn't even show his face to sit up there and try to tell me some oh you're from the outskirts like for anybody to know me like I don't even like a lot of people be out here and get low and go to the outskirts but for anybody to know me I don't even play those I like I don't even do that to get low, like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even play that on my own. Like, just to, you know what I'm saying? I don't even do that. It's just for play play, I don't even do the outskirts. So to live out there, to be from that, no, nah, I've been in being time my whole, my whole joint. That's just mad funny. This dude got on a winter jacket, bro. This man got on a winter jacket.
like how and why. Ooh, so like where is, that's why when I be in the crib, that's why I always tell people I can never tell like my window it comes right down here. We can see the station. And I always be like, yo, I can never tell like about what people be having on, like what the weather's like. Like usually I know you can be in certain areas and you probably can just tell by what people are, what people are, what other people are rocking. Like you can get like a glimpse of what the weather's like, but not with these cats, cause somebody over here will be wearing like a short set, and then the joggers, and then it's a um, it's a bike trail and the, and the running thing on this side. But then, like I said, then you will have somebody who got on a a North Face <laughs> like today. Everybody on the East Coast up North, we know that it's nice out. So you'll see somebody over here with like a North Face. The next person will have on nothing. But you always like, even in Boston, like tonight, if you're traveling all day, you always would want to walk with like some type of little hoodie or like light, a light jacket because even like as nice as it is, if you're running around all day long by tonight, you're going to wish that you had a jacket if you, you out, you know what I'm saying, you run in the streets. You out on the streets all day. You gonna wish that you had a had a jacket, but you know what I'm saying. Nice little, you know, we got a nice little thin fleece, a nice little thin hoodie. But like I said, you can never tell because some people have on some outrageous. It, it just jumps from one person to the next. Like yo, how can that person have on this and then that person have on that? And they all in the same habitat. They all in the same place. It be crazy. I was just chilling up here in a minute. I had came out um, mad earlier, and it was like kind of cloudy and stuff. It didn't get nice yet, so I just came out here to stick my head out here mad early. You know, I'll be like on vampire status. Like I usually don't activate until it's late. You know, we be doing those late lives, or even if we don't do late lives, I usually be like last night, I'll let mess around with iTalk, or somebody, you know what I'm saying, or mess with Friendly, or I'll be on my own thing and be late, or I'll be writing late, or something like that. Then I'll be up, Danny, all night. You know what I'm saying? So then when like the normal people, like when y'all get up and then get up in the morning and go, that'd be like my downtime. But um, yeah, I got up here early and it wasn't nice yet. But I came out here just to peep and see what it looked like. Then like I said, I seen homeboy on 183rd, I seen um, Weez. And when I went in there and slew him and say what's up to him, I seen that clown and it just made me think, but I was like, yo, but but bees ain't have nobody on his channel. I was trying to think that I was gonna go up there, but I don't really gotta prove to to Michael nothing. He knew how to get me though, but I'm gonna leave it alone. He knew how to get me. He knew that that would strike me. He know damn well that I'm a I'm a hood I'm a hood person. There's no way that I'm gonna sit there and be somebody from the outskirts. Even though that shit doesn't even mean nothing. But he knew right that would strike a nerve. And what I look like being one of those type of people. I'm right in the heart of it. Wow. Nobody really, really shot that club up, boy. Man, it doesn't matter. People be just shooting up all types of clubs. Yeah, man. It's a great sight stay. Look at the tall back. I'm about to say thick back. Man. Thirty-one flavors, Baskin Robbins.
I'm not trying to learn that. And it's hard to be doing that, learning something new with your old pup. But what's the name? The fruit, the fruit section is not. I don't think that's a new. That's too too much of learning new. I think, yo, when you be dealing with like um like in this situation these days, man, dealing with people and learning them. But I think like recently now messing with um. My friend of his, fucking the fruit jar. They gotta understand the um, the done language. That's very vital. When you deal with a new friend or new partner or something like that, you know the honeymoon is always sweet and it's always good, but at the same time, done language is key. If that person, wow. What the fuck? Wow. They about to get into it. Yeah, they about to. Wow, they about to bang. Yeah, they're not going to be able to be on a bus together. That's a long ride with. With heated egos. Too hot for that. Hey, Red. Gucci, huh? Gucci for Gucci. Oh, shit. All that time. That's what it was. You got a nigga skinny mini. She always rolling for Donald. She's a slick motherfucker. Slick. I don't think he, yeah, he ain't letting him go nowhere. That's the game report. It's time to be nosy, y'all. He ain't moving that bus. That's the best stuff, man. Yeah. Um, kids, they ain't even gonna move that bus. That's messed up. Yeah, but you got no personnel as well. I was getting there. You got no personnel. But yeah, um, no, what she said, I told you, I wanted to show Snoopy. My man was asking her, he's like, is that the old iceberg? They all jump in the back there, filling it up. And he ain't even gonna go nowhere. Are they fighting? Yeah, he went back. Oh, I thought he. Is that Carlos? Yeah, he might as well get into it, because he's. That's messed up. And he ain't even gonna say nothing to them. I hate those bus drivers like that. He know he ain't gonna move and he ain't gonna say nothing to them. It was arguing on a bus. Wow. Now he back arguing again. If they let him get away with this, it's going to be one of those race situations. It's a race situation. I want to see how this plays out. But, yeah, like I was saying, you know, how I drifted off. It's just like, yeah, you just got to know your personnel. And then when it's something new, I mean, it's my own thing, like how I be taking on. But if people learn me, it's just, yeah, they got to, you, you got to mess with somebody that done language. You know what I'm saying? If you mess with mom, do you know what I done, done? You know what I mean, Danny? But you gotta you gotta mess with somebody to know the done language. It makes it much easier. If somebody know your Dunny, they know your done language and it's very it makes it very easy and very good on you. If you if you mess with somebody and they don't get your done language, you know what I'm saying, then you're gonna have a you gonna have a problem, you know what I'm saying? Because I mean they don't have to. And then again, some people don't have their own nah. You got your own version of your done language, though. 
no matter who you are, we all have our own version of, of the dumb language, though. We all got the, on our own version of the dumb language, but it's just the way, you know what I'm saying, it's the way that it's represented. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, if somebody understands, that's, that's very key. It's very key and very vital that one knows the dumb language and makes it, it makes it very easy. But yeah, man, then the clouds that came up. Let's see if the yellow bus or 2-9 came. Yeah, those people, he should tell those people. So me all around old school. I'm surprised this place is so open. Yeah, he should tell the people because he know he's not gonna let them go nowhere. The sun went down for a second. Hopefully, man, in my city, man, and across the map, man, I hope that everybody be safe. Because, like I said, I know. Uh, here goes the Pope. Oh, no. And they're not coming for him. He's all beeping, and they're not coming. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. My favorite little. Oh, no. Here comes the Pope. Now they all coming in. Oh, no. Here comes the Pope. We got a little action. Oh no! Here comes Popo. Oh no! Here comes the Popo. Temperatures rising. Oh no! <laughs> Well, he got it done and he was like, I thought it was a, oh no, here comes Popo. The Popo actually helped it. He got the bus running as soon as he came. Oh shit, look. This time's a white man. The white man's not going to jail. But they came deep. They came deep. There's only one guy. Maria! Maria! She's like, I don't know you. <laughs> See how good I am? He's like, I don't know you, but she was Maria. Then she goes spinning the block. So people, how's everybody doing, man? Oh, so like I said, um, I know like basically everyone in the East Coast or wherever, it's nice out. And like in my city, these are bad days. Usually something happens or, you know, the, uh, he dropped the lesson. He really didn't say anything. You, you know, to tell her, you might get in trouble. He dropped him. He dropped homework. I don't know. Yeah, he dropped homework. He dropped homework. I don't know. You supposed to tell mommy this. I don't know. Oh. Thank you. Only five cents. I'm supposed to charge her five dollars. Only five bucks. Only five dollar. Five peso. Only five peso. Five dollar. Five. I put it on TV. <laughs> oh no, there goes the Popo. Oh, he got lucky. See, they always get it. He get on the next bus for free. So it's work. It worked out. 
See? Love everywhere. Even the baby love it. But hey, man, I'm going to take it back in the... <laughs> be back. The sun go out. So like I said, um, peace to the streets. Hopefully everybody, like I said, be safe in their hoods because he looks like Christopher. Tommy. Tommy. Hey, Tommy, you look like Chris. Looks like Christopher. But, uh, yeah. Oh, well, I say y'all be safe out there, man, because, you know, like I said, in, in these hoods and, you know, across, when it be nice like this, it's usually, it usually be nice. I mean, usually the heat and stuff will usually get people into trouble. The heat, the people usually start acting like a cop dang on food. So, hopefully everybody be peaceful. It looked like I think the pheasant ran up here, up in here, because the James is it's quite quiet. And nobody wants to make a move, huh? It's, she's quite upset. I told you these nice days, it, it brings the worst out of people. Well, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm heading inside to get a little bit of a cold one and uh, some cool air, some AC air on me. Probably going to take, take a little walk later. G.I. Jane. Oh no, those G.I. James, eh? Well, no William for her to give me a smack. These people, remember I showed y'all the other day this restaurant's paid close? Yo, the other day, look at these ladies. She, she's baffled. There's so many people, look, look, she's taping it herself. Look, nobody told you this the other day? They can't believe it. That's why I was telling you on the other day. Hello. <laughs> she didn't want to say it. Surprising, huh? Well, she. She can't see me because she's into her. I was trying to get this lady. She, she usually would come to the store. But yeah, these people, they're baffled because they use. She got my top tens on too. One of my top tens. You know, the top ten, the sneakers, the top tens, the Adidas, the sneakers. Well, you like them? Yes, I have them. Oh, yeah, they're the best. Yes. If you don't have a pair of these, you got shit. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> ah. She was listening to her music. She, she see I said something to her. Now she's listening. All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up. She wanna keep it moving. She's an old lady. She's trying to be. She said, "Be old guy." She. I've seen her around ever since um the back when Dana the shows and stuff. Well, yeah, guys. Because I was looking at, like I said, I was showing y'all the restaurant, the lady, I was trying to get her attention because, like I said, a lot of these people, again, you see people, they're shocked because, like I told you, the rent, like mine, the rent is very expensive in this in this area here. And um, um, like I was telling the people the other day that watched it, that, that store, that, that restaurant was thriving, like business every day. So these people that are used to coming around here, they're just looking like, why they're shocked. Surprised to see that place closed. 
I used to work with that lady too. She just doesn't remember. But yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I'll get up with you guys later on after I do me a, a few things. I don't like how it looks out here neither. It feels good, but like I said, it's too really gloomy. It's looking like a, like a Sunday that after like something by like something happened to somebody. This is not good. Yeah, let me let me go upstairs because this is not. It looks really like sad and this is not good. I don't even see her with baby. Hey, like I said, man, have a positive day, guys. I, you know, I mean, I'm always drifting off because I see so many different things happening. And you know, like I said, when you're out in these type of areas, no matter how, like I told you, no matter how good it can look or whatever, or however it's perceived to be, you have to keep your head on the swivel because there's always like a thousand things going on at one time in these type of um, neighborhoods. Even if it's quiet, especially if it's quiet. Milan, Milan. Since when you have baby? Four years ago. Serious? I knew it. I was watching, I'm like, I never seen you with baby. <laughs> Even her too. You all shocked. Everybody shocked. She's like, what? Four years ago. You got a little boy. Now it looks like it on the rain. This is crazy. Oh, girl. <laughs> She's riding the bike. Bicycle. <laughs> this lady here. All right, I take it in, guys. I'll holler in a second. <laughs>